Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Whether in technology, trade, or finance, the United States has a common goal, that is to prevent China's development in all aspects. However, the United States did not expect that under such circumstances, all three battles ended in failure. China now focuses on the technological war provoked by the United States. The United States is a country based on science and technology, and high-tech industries have played a key role in its development. Technology giants such as Apple, Nvidia, Microsoft, Google, and Qualcomm have not only made important contributions to the US technology industry, but also earned huge profits worldwide because of their innovative products and services. At the beginning of the 21st century, China's high-tech industry has developed rapidly. Thanks to the support of national policies, the accumulation of talents, and huge market demand, China has emerged a group of high-tech companies with international competitiveness, including Huawei, SMIC, BYD, and DJI. Their rise has injected a strong impetus into China's competitiveness in the international market. Especially Huawei, because it has strong competitiveness in communications and artificial intelligence, the United States is worried that Huawei will subvert the pattern of the world's high-tech industry, so it suppresses Huawei at all costs. This technological war lasted for six years. What is Huawei's situation now? I think that over the years, Huawei has not only made progress in all aspects, but also shown a trend of becoming more and more courageous. Not long ago, Huawei Group's Xu Jijun delivered a speech at the 2024 World Technology Forum. He said that the world's attention today is focused on the fourth industrial revolution, represented by artificial intelligence. AI has had a huge impact on the development of various industries and the development of society. Xu Jijun said that Huawei will use the Pangu Big Mode as the super assistant of Xiaoyi in the next step and will develop Harmony OS into a set of local intelligent operating systems, integrate the underlying resources of AI, and establish system-level original wisdom. In addition to hardware, Huawei is building an intelligent software ecosystem. By the end of 2023, more than 800 million terminals will be able to use the Hongmeng system, and the number of developers has reached 2.2 million. Xu Jijun said, China will be based in China and use this as a platform to strengthen and improve the ecosystem, making Chinese computers an alternative for the whole world, and making Chinese mobile phones a new mobile phone operating system for the whole world. Hongmeng system is an independently developed and independently developed system. The smooth implementation of its research and development will be a major breakthrough for China in the international operating system market. This will pose a threat to the United States' long-standing dominance in technology and technology and weaken its ability to control world technology and technology. China's biggest weakness now is the lithography machine. Due to the restrictions of the United States on the semiconductor industry, the Dutch ASML company cannot sell advanced lithography machines to China, so China can only study it on its own. As the highest academic institution of natural sciences in China, the Chinese Academy of Sciences has obvious scientific research strength and strategic vision. 
When this lithography machine company obtained the acquisition of 25% of the circulating shares of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, it was undoubtedly a great recognition of its technical strength and market potential. This move not only brought strong financial support to the company, but also paved a broad road in technology research and development, talent introduction, and other aspects. As a world-leading ICT, information and communication technology, solution provider, Huawei has high standards for optical devices, which means that the lithography machine companies that can become its core suppliers must reach the world-class level in terms of accuracy, stability, and production efficiency. Huawei's choice is undoubtedly another affirmation of the company's technical strength and market competitiveness. It is worth noting that this company was once the only company in China that directly reached a strategic cooperation with ASML of the Netherlands. ASML, as the absolute overlord of the global lithography machine market, is in the leading position in the industry in terms of technology level and market share. Being able to establish a strategic partnership with ASML not only means that the company has reached the international advanced level in terms of technology, but also indicates that it will obtain more technical support and market resources in the research and development, production, and sales of high-end lithography machines. This cross-border cooperation will undoubtedly accelerate the independent innovation and industrial upgrading of China's lithography machine technology and lay a solid foundation for the independent and controllable path of China's semiconductor industry. And it was also reported from Russia that their first optical microscope had just been produced and is still in the trial stage. According to Vasily Shpak, Deputy Minister of Industry and Trade of Russia, the device can manufacture 350 nanometer, 0.35 micron chips. Although Russia's lithography equipment is not the most advanced, it is enough to show that both China and Russia have the strength to make breakthroughs in lithography. I think you also know that the only lithography company in the world is ASML. What's more, ASML's lithography machine is not produced by the Netherlands alone, but is the result of joint production by multiple countries. The United States has blocked China's development in all aspects, and the technological war has lasted for six years. Chinese high-tech companies such as Huawei have risen. Huawei has shown strong competitiveness in the field of AI, and the successful development of Hongmeng's system threatens the technological domination of the United States. China and Russia have made breakthroughs in the field of lithography, but the most advanced lithography machines still rely on joint production by multiple countries.